Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to add or change images in your image gallery using the Huge IT Gallery plugin. So here on this page you can see that we have our gallery that shows images. You can click on the image and it shows you the original. And click off of it and it closes again. So today we're going to show you how to modify that. Um, to set up that gallery though, on the page that you have it on, you just put in the short code that's associated with that gallery. So as you can see here, we just have the short code for that gallery. So it's just the gallery ID. And then for the gallery itself, you go into the huge IT gallery here on the left hand side inside your dashboard. And then you have all the galleries that you have. So here you can see that we just have one gallery. So you click the name and you can see all of the images that are listed in your gallery. They are in order, so if you wanted to change the order of an image, you would just hover over top of it and you've got the crosshairs, and you would just drag and drop to where you want that image to be. So you can put them in a different order. You can also change the title and the description if you wanted to add those, um, and then you can add images or videos to your gallery. So if you were to add an image here at the top, you've got an add image button and it will load up your whole media library of images you can select one of those and add it to the gallery and it would then populate that image at the very bottom once you've added everything modified that you want then you come here to the top and you click save gallery as you can see here the gallery has that short code which is the same short code that we used inside of our page so if you make a new gallery then you can see that short code copy it and put it on that page but any changes that you make you then click save gallery and then it will modify the original page so that it can show you that the nice thing about this gallery is that it is responsive so that if you load it on a mobile site it does shift the images and stack them on top of each other if you have questions on anything else feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more